Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Um, oh, this is pretty bad here. This was me forgetting which buttons I need to, <laughs> which buttons I need to press in order to attack him. But anyway, so in the last part we uh, headed back into Kamashida's dungeon, uh, his, uh, his uh, palace, in order for us to uh, go in and defeat the little asshole once and for all. Because if we don't, we're gonna get fucking expelled. That's not bad. Which is bad. Um, and meanwhile, at the same time, um, Ahn followed us in, and we got rid of her. So, we're continuing on with this part. Yep. So now I'm gonna try, uh, I think I'm showing this off because I'm getting the bicorn here. Who is, um... Actually, a pretty decent um, persona, from what I remember. Uh, physical attacks-wise, it does a decent amount. Causes a decent amount of damage. And by the way, I think every I think um, every single persona's uh, kind of every shadow's like uh, dialogue, like the options that you have to pick in order to get him as your persona. Uh, they. Uh, are all locked to that individual persona, that individual shadow, so you should be able to do it with any of the shadows really. Uh, so, so yeah, it's pretty much, I think they're all locked uh, to a certain persona, a certain shadow. I keep using this, I keep fucking up. Nothing here. So here we are, we've got our safe room. That means we've now we've now got a pretty much a save point. This is that place from oh this is not a good idea, Am. <laughs> Just so you know. Just said the word Sakamoto said and I ended up Princess? So yeah, she has huh? the uh Princess app now as well. Can you guess who the next uh mem party member's gonna be? <laughs> Aren't there even more but, yeah. here than before? So now we're here in, um, so yeah, here we are, we're back, here. we're in our, we've got our, uh, sh uh, we're in our safe room, so we've got our save point, so we can just walk to here the next time we enter, which is, a uh, pretty nice. So yeah, that's what basically, uh, the whole, uh, the dungeons are pretty much, it's just, the first run through is, there's an initial run through of getting through to the, uh, centre of the dungeon, and then once you've got to the centre of the dungeon, once you got this, I didn't pick up, and once you've got to the centre of the dungeon, <laughs> we can then, uh, we can then, um, send the calling card and f force the uh, treasure to uh, to appear basically still why was a princess in such it might be princess i could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder it doesn't matter now we must take it back to king so yeah well, now we're going to find out that Arnas has just been uh, kidnapped it has been taken by the uh, guards should probably look into this Go for it, Morgana. Stuff like castle and that navigation. That's gonna happen a lot. But Morgana's got them both beat. I think that that is um, a bit of foreshadowing for uh, an ele for some elements later on in the story, which is interesting. Never really noticed that before, actually. <laughs> Ryuji. What? We sent her home earlier. If Lady Ann doesn't She's back, that, Ryuji. <laughs> oh fuck. No. Don't tell me you got put this is gonna be a problem. Yeah. This was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, what a dumbass. <laughs> so yeah, now our deal is instead of forging the infiltration route, we've got to save Arm. So here we go. Okay, let's go. Onwards to our next persona, uh, our next uh, persona awakening. 
Uh, yeah, you can't go that way yet. And, uh, yeah, of course they fucking respawn. <sighs> Ooh, scary. Oh, there we go. Hit him in the back. Anne, you fucking bitch. This is not the time. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we have another new persona. Uh, oh, yeah, these are the uh, Crypt Dwelling Pyromaniacs. Why did I guard? Oh, I know. I'm guarding because I want to weaken them so I can try and get them as personas, I think. There we go. It's been a while since I recorded this. And once again, uh, you know, if if you're if the if the shadow you're trying to turn into your turn into a persona is above your level, um, then they will just say no and give you either item or money. Either way, you'll get something. But now we've got the pyromaniac. Um, actually, um, who's jack o' lantern? Jack o' lantern is worth getting for uh. It's worth getting Jack a Lantern um, for before the Arn, before you go to save Arn. Um, the reason being that if you, when you fight, um, there's a reason for that. When you, because uh, the boss that you have to fight to save Arn is weak to fire, which is Arn's weakness, it, Arn's um, ability. But if you do this now. Uh, if you get the jack o' lantern, that means you can get double the hits in with fire, and you can get the boss down a lot faster. I'm pretty sure we've seen these before, but these are the gallows flower. Yeah. I, yes, as I said, weak to fire. And I think I'm going to try and get these as well. Basically, um... Something else I should mention. At this point, you'll want to get at least a minimum of four or five personas because uh, uh, what will happen is that after the, the next time you uh, you come back to this place you'll be forced to do a persona fusion uh, and if you don't have uh, a number of personas that can be fused together then you'll have to fuse your standard persona and then we get mandrake um, you have to fuse your original persona which is I can't remember his name <laughs> but he's a pretty powerful persona to get if you just keep him throughout the entire game and um, keep him going. So it's worth having all the personas. If you want to keep him, if you really don't care about it, keeping him, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, going the wrong way. But <laughs> yeah, if you want to keep your original persona, then try and capture as many. Um, try to get at least three or four, you know, four or five different personas, so you have uh, an ability to fuse them, rather, a couple of them, rather than f fusing your standard persona. Alright. So here we go, now we've got to try and save Ant. And so it's time for the, um, it's time to, uh, Who's that? that's weird. <laughs> what is this, this is really meta. Is this, <laughs> this is really weird. I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid? Here he's a real proper dick. He's a, <laughs> here he be comes a real asshole in this one. In this scene, he, you know, he, um, <clears throat> he's a real proper asshole and a real proper dick at this point. If he wasn't before, this is where he's really horrible. <laughs> How does Anne know about red light districts? <laughs> oh well. The girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like totally unfair. I hate the voice. <laughs> it's very um in that case. <laughs> it's a very stupid stereotypical voice, I guess. <laughs> oh, with a gold sword no less. Should I play with you? 
Shall I tear you into little pieces? This is very uh, creepy dialogue. <laughs> it's very dark. That's your response. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Yeah, so there we go. That's pretty much confirmation of how Ikamashida <laughs> thinks of the women on the volleyball team and the women, and you know, the girls in the school in general, pretty much. How many times are you gonna come back? How many times it takes to kick your ass, bitch? <laughs> Chick's name, but it's your fault she jumped, you know. This dialogue here is properly sick. <laughs> you were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. I guess they do confirm it here. That is pretty much confirmation that it was, um, that she, um, <laughs> that he, um, sexually abused Shiho. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Start with her clothes. That face. <laughs> that is the face of evil. <laughs> hey, what are we gonna do? No idea. Takamaki! Is this my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio. <laughs> That's pretty sick. I'm so sorry. So yeah, just don't give in. Yeah, yeah, don't give in. <laughs> You're right. Please don't. <laughs> piece of shit toy with me. That was um a quick turn there. What was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and shut up. I've had enough of this. You piss me off, you son of a bitch! And here we go, time for Anne's awakening scene. Um, My, when we get Anne's persona. Tell me, who get this brilliant um, uh, uh, little, little um, music cue here, this be beautiful piece of music here. It's so great. Although I find it kind of bizarre here that, um, because when, uh, the main character and Ryuji, when the main character and Ryuji pull off their mask, it's kind of very bloody and gory, <laughs> kind of how they pull it off, and here Anne is just, yeah, it's pull it off and there's not really much blood there at all. And this persona design is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I like the persona design here. You know what? And of course we get the uh, badass um, Persona 5 battle theme here. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> and she doesn't have the mask, although she will have when the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when the fight scene, when the battle actually kicks in. And this, this, this monster, this shadow design is pretty bizarre. <laughs> it's a demon on a toilet. <laughs> I don't really get it, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a demon on the bark. I don't understand it really, but there you go. I can't remember if this was in previous games. Um, I know it wasn't in 4, but I can't really remember. But does she actually not have the mask on? Oh, there we go. She puts the mask on now, I think. There we go. That's actually pretty cool that they actually bother to get the dialogue going. You know, that they actually give uh, an in, you know, a little explanation as to why she's wearing the mask now. It's kind of cool. That's because uh, we're doing a fuck ton of damage. And here, because we've got Aji. And... This should be it, actually, and this will be the fastest I've ever taken this guy down. And, yeah, boom. That was hard. <laughs> if you've got uh, two, um... If you've got uh, two characters who have the same 
ability. Patra, that's a useful ability. Um, but yeah, the uh, if you got like say two sh with with two characters who have the same who have the ability, which is the boss's weakness, then you can take him down really fucking fast. Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all lady on? Lady on? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And it's very rude. <laughs> Just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed <laughs> to calm down? Huh? Yeah, and the uh, costume here is um I don't know what's it meant to be. I guess the way I kind of thought about it. How can you expect me to be calm? The way that I thought about it um is that There's it's no kind of like, I guess because she's a cat burglar, I guess it's kind of designed after, it's kind of a red version of a cat woman's costume, I guess. Here, but, um, you take the other side. but yeah, it's, it, it's an odd costume. I mean, she's the only, the only one that gets something that's so... I don't know. What's the word to go for? <laughs> um, that of the female ca uh, party members, she's the only one that gets something uh, so they're both actually. Um, like then... tight and clingy. I don't really. <laughs> I guess it's to show off that she's the. I guess it's supposed to indicate she's the main love interest or something. I don't know. But, uh, you're a cat. <laughs> you <calmed laughs> you can't drink pop. Um. Morgana, right? Oh. I really am talking to a cat. This feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. <laughs> Demanding that you understand all of this. Bite our heads off for saying that. <laughs> oh, Morgana. You're an asshole. I still can't believe <laughs> That power. My persona. It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it? You'll be able to fight That's a good line. The it's the will of your rebellion. So I like that line. So what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can uh, you allegedly. <laughs> Morgana doesn't actually know whether it will happen or not. He just... This while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Yeah, so that's too. pretty much... Yeah, this is the thing where it's just your... It just keeps going it, it's kind of like at this point you're uh, officially painted into a corner and you don't really... The only option you have is to deal with Kamashida yourself at this point. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, yeah, she's a better fighter than you, you Reed. <laughs> really? I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower, after all. Don't worry. I'll protect her. So to speak. <laughs> Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, oh, right. She can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, uh, fine. Then it's decided. I don't know how Morgana thinks well, she's gonna... Uh, uh, he's... Wrong. Sorry, fuck. I don't know how he oh, thinks he's gonna she protect Arm. Um, but Not there you go. Not just for sake. But for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. And and we have our next um, social link with Arn. She's uh, I can't. Uh, she was the uh, lovers arcana, I think, from what I remember. It's I been a while. Something as dangerous <laughs> as your group could have been pulled off with orthodox methods. It wouldn't be all these scenes kind of um, proficient in deceiving the eyes of others. <laughs> if you're listening, then answer me. That l little bit of dialogue about uh, someone who's good at deceiving others is a little bit of a, uh, a joke for the second <laughs> dungeon about Arn, but we'll see that when we get there. With the birth of the lover's persona. 
Yeah, there we go. She is the uh, lover's arcana. So yeah, we get Anne's uh, love right. arcana here, uh, social link here, and we get baton pass, which is incredibly useful to have. Um, Just let me know when you're heading so we get her, uh, but uh, we won't actually be able to do any of her social link stuff until hey, after everything's sorted with uh, Kamashida. So once Kamashida's given, you know, camera. given up his, uh, what's the word for? Once he's uh, confessed to his crimes and that's all sorted out, then you can talk to do on social link. Um, because uh, during the time after you've beaten the dungeon, but before uh, Kamashida's kind of um, done all, you know, confessed, uh, she's talking to. Um, I love that from Ryuji. Uh, basically, <sighs> what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, because she goes to see Shiho uh, in that time frame, so she she's basically busy after school uh, all the time. So until um, Kamashida kind of confesses, so can't do it immediately, which is a shame. But whatever. And her first link is actually pretty hard when she did it the first time because you're because you're. Um, Kindness needs to be at level 2, and you start off at level 1, so you have to build up kindness pretty much straight away. Doesn't take too long once you start it, but it's just uh, initially you don't remember. Initially you don't know uh, how to do it, and that's my first play. I didn't know that I needed my kindness to be up, so I couldn't start her social link till quite late. Till a little bit later than I would want. And this is another character who we'll be getting to know um, fairly soon. Yeah, she's going to be another one, uh, another character we'll know about fairly soon. Fine, I'm going. Thanks for coming. So yeah, she'll be uh, of relevance pretty soon. Yeah, this is where you kind of uh, you're told that she's the doctor and she gives you um, medicines and stuff, uh, <clears throat> and that's where you can buy your health recovery items. And there's also some SP recovery um, like accessories that you can buy as well from her, which they're all pretty useful. It's best to max her social link out as soon as possible, so that you can get the best recovery items possible as early as possible. <laughs> Morgana's not happy with her. Oh I shit! <laughs> what did you bring it here for? That's it's a shame. Look, this place is a restaurant. <laughs> Animals are a no go. Though I'll keep him up here. <laughs> guests might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine. I don't know where that logic comes from, but <laughs> fine. <laughs> if that's what you have to say to, so we can keep it. Fine. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> Was that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding mm -hmm. for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people, I just sound like a meowing cat. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Seriously, had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that. <laughs> By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana. Mm -hmm. huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. Why? Well, it's not your cat. It's my cat. <laughs> like <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> and to be honest, I guess so. This place is heaven compared to Kamashita's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is the start of uh, Magana's social link. Um, she pretty much uh, he 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 his social link. Um, his social link just goes along with the main story, so you don't have to bother to go out of your way 
to do it uh, to do her so uh, do his social link you ju- it just goes along with this with the main story um so you don't have to worry about that so you don't have to worry about that you don't have to go out your way the other most of the other social links you do have to go out your way the only two you don't are Morganas and um Igors so let me make myself clear your taking care of me won't be for nothing <clears throat> it'll be give and take Due to my knowledgeable and okay. dexterous nature, I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Oh yeah, now that Magana is uh, staying with us, I can't tell you <sighs> basically uh, she will In give she gives us he, he fuck I'm never gonna get used to that. He I gives us the that. ability to uh, make infiltration tools, so it basically allows us I to like use the answer. the um, <laughs> materials that we get from defeating shadows. We get them from shadows and then we can build um infiltration tools which is basically stuff like um items to allow you to leave the dungeon quickly keys to unlock to uh, open locked chests and also Local gives you stuff like uh, there's a certain uh, gas that you can get and that basically takes down the if you get discovered and your level your answer me level Inside the dungeon goes up, like your alert if the alert level goes up. Uh, if the alert level goes up, then you can just deal with that basically. You can use that item and then it will take it will take that uh, alert level off, which is pretty useful. I don't really use it though, because if you're good enough in in the dungeons, you don't really need to use it. So I don't really use it all that much. I think I used it maybe once or maybe once during this playthrough I think I show it off right. once so yeah but because I uh, play a new game plus and I maxed out Morgana's social link I have all the infiltration tools unlocked from the start so I can build a lot more a lot faster um, by the way as well uh, if the more you make infiltration tools the more your um, dexterity goes up um, so if you want to get um, your dexterity up very quickly just keep making uh, stuff uh, make keep making infiltration tools whenever you get the chance pretty useful you might learn various useful skills too this is all part of our deal got it sure thing <laughs> don't let me down okay I'll try not to I love this music so much. It's so good. So yeah, Morgana is going to be staying with us from now on. And we got a text message. Hi, Arn. Hey. I'm going to have to ask you to type for me. All right. Whatever. But anyway, <laughs> that's it for this part of episode of five. Join me next time when we won't be going immediately back into the dungeon. We're going to be doing some uh, social link stuff and also some um, side quest stuff to prepare for the dungeon. Uh, and then we'll be going back into the dungeon later. So join me next time when we'll be going through more um, social link stuff and eventually going back into the dungeon uh, and going through one pass to. Um, beat Kamashida. So join me next time for the next part of Persona 5. See you next time.